What is forging? And what are the benefits of using this process? If you haven't already, please watch our video on material grain. This will provide a clearer understanding of why forging is the superior process for metal components produced today. Forging is a process dating back over 6,000 years. It is a technique that involves the shaping of metals by using heat and force through hammering, pressing, and rolling processes. During the forging process, the internal grain structure of the material is refined to achieve compression and alignment, enhancing the metallurgical properties. As a result, a component produced using a forging process is always stronger, with better ductility, and resistance to fatigue. Before any forging can be produced, the raw material must be heated to a specific temperature. This is just above what's called the recrystallization temperature. This is critical to the process. If it is too cold, the material is not malleable. And if it is too hot, the all-important grain structure and chemical composition can be affected. There are several different forging methods used today. The most common being upset forging and drop forging. Both are very different methods of compressing and aligning grain flow, each having different use cases dependent on the component being forged. Upset forging allows the material to be gathered and shaped at the end of a diameter bar, typically through a series of bunts or blows that gradually manipulates the material. This is sometimes followed by a final pressing operation to achieve the final shape required. As seen in the on-screen simulation, the grain flow is gradually aligned and compressed to suit the forged component in production. This process is used to produce many engineering components, such as hexagon bolts for construction, eye bolts for lifting applications, and hammerhead bolts for foundation systems. In fact, the majority of the world's fasteners are produced using upset forging methods. Drop forging allows material to be formed into more complex parts, and a greater range of materials can be used. This process is also known as impression die forging, or closed die forging. The impression of the required component is machined into an upper and lower split die set. A preheated bar or billet is then positioned above the lower die. The upper die comes down in a series of controlled blows, forming the material to the desired shape. As seen in the on-screen simulation, alignment and compression of the grain flow can be achieved in more complex shapes. Connecting rods for engines, valves for petrochemical, and draw hooks for locomotives are just some of the components made using the drop forging process. To summarize, the benefits of forging are as follows. Compression and alignment of the grain yields the strongest possible component. Close net shapes can easily be achieved, reducing additional finishing costs. Production cycle times are rapid with a typical forging only taking 10 to 30 seconds to complete. The service life of a forged component is far greater than its cast or machined counterparts, reducing losses due to downtime or failures in the field. With these benefits in mind, forging should always be the manufacturing process of choice, where failure is simply not an option. If you have any inquiries or questions, don't hesitate to contact the Brooks Forgings team who will be more than happy to help. Alternatively, visit our website at www.brooksforgings.co.uk for more information. Thank you for watching.